Greetings people and welcome to another video. On this one I'll be showing you how to actually play the offense characters of Overwatch. These techniques work in every platform, but the footage is from a PS4. Cause you know what? I don't care for PC Master Race. South Park showed the console war and compared it to Game of Thrones, but on Game of Thrones the war in the Seven Kingdoms isn't greater than the war against the White Walkers. Who in this case is the PC Master Race! Console players should team up against PC and not fight each other! <sighs> okay, there you go. First we have Genji, the robot dead dragon. With a quick look at his skills you can see that he's pretty easy to play. His basic attacks throw 3 shurikens in a row and his second attack 3 at the same time. His L1 makes him dash toward where he's looking causing damage. And if Genji kills an enemy the skill resets. See? His deflect is the reason why he can counter Bastion, sending all incoming projectiles that you can see to where you're aiming. Just remember that deflect doesn't last that long. His ult makes him deal more and needed damage as basic attacks and he can wall climb and double jump as passive skills. But despite all that, what makes Genji be the most picky champion on the LCS is that his skills can also be used for mobility so players can strike their enemy team when they less expect. So the next on the list is McCree and he's one of those characters that you either see someone playing really good or really bad. But he's actually simple. First we have his basic attack that shoots a single bullet and his second attack that will shoot all the remaining bullets on his gun. The trick here is to aim low and once you start, keep pulling the right stick down. His roll rolls and his second skills throw a flashbang that stuns the enemy. But keep in mind it's considered to be a projectile. So to counter Reinhardt you should roll, flashbang and fan the hammer. His ultimate follows the steps. 1. A glitchy tumbleweed appears. 2. His aim lock on the visible enemy. And 3. You pull the trigger. If the red skull appears, you kill them. Unless they are behind the Reinhardt's shield. Oh my god, the wind's blowing too hard but I can't fight back if I believe in myself. Oh, it's Hanun guys. Get it took over. Moving to the next one, we have Farah, and with a quick look at her kit, you can see there's no mystery no what the fu- She launches rockets as basic attacks and she doesn't have a second attack. Farah can jet herself with L1 and sustain in the air using the cross button or L2. And her second skill is a special rocket that deals no damage but pushes players away. Farah's ultimate will lock her position but you can still look around to move your aim and watch out for fights in closed places because you can damage yourself. Next we have the Edge Lord Reaper. Ooh, so edgy. Okay, so Reaper's concepts are pretty basic. You shoot, you teleport, go invulnerable, and you win team fights with a single button. But none of this matters if you don't prepare yourself to be Reaper. So look for you, I can help. First, open the music player of your preference, search for this and play this music. Now grab a pencil and a piece of paper kid because it's time to get edgy. Okay, so you want to start with three lines, you can leave the middle one smaller. Now you push the middle and the left one okay this one is tricky okay now you do the same thing that you did before now i head here another one in the bottom and all right you're ready to play ripper Moving on, we have Buffalo Soldier and he is what you would find on combat arms nowadays. He runs without getting tired, he shoots, deploys a healing station for him and for nearby allies, shoot rockets for some reason, and sometimes uses the aimbot that makes him shoot more than one enemy. 
this is combat arms as far as I'm concerned. And the last one is Tracer, but I'm not going through her skills. Instead, I will show you a technique that doesn't require knowing how to play her. Just save your rewind and don't care about damage, the payload will heal you over the time. Now go to the front of the payload and try to guess where you were 3 seconds ago. Then you rewind and you should be good to go. Just please don't tell Blizzard. Once again the video is over and as always, thank you for watching, for making this long on the video. But this time I want to make some special thanks. The first one is for Kosta, my friend that accepted to be the subject for these videos and for future ones. The next one is for Mr. Pinto who gave me some ideas for the videos and helped me with the research. And speaking about ideas and research, you should check the Muso channel because he has some great and serious material about Overwatch. So, credits to him. And remember that you are a wonderful person. Now have a good day.